Hello YouTube, this is Boba7772, and today I'm here to review the Disney's Frozen Complete Character Set Action Figure Set. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I do believe these are uh, these figures are in the same style as the Polly Pocket figures, though I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, they do seem to be uh, similar to other Disney Princess figures, which uh, I really haven't had any interest in other than these Frozen figures, because I'm a huge fan of the movie. Um, so it comes with Sven, and it comes with uh, the ugly donkey Sven. Uh, Kristoff. <laughs> that was a joke. Um, Anna. Elsa, my favorite character. And I'm really glad that they put uh, them in these two outfits. Um, Hans. Not exactly like in uh, what they did with his hands. Kind of wish that they would have done the same arms as Kristoff had. And then Olaf. And something just seems funny about Olaf. I don't know. Uh, so that was the front. Then we have kind of like pink and snowflakes up here. Disney Frozen, the logo. Then we have uh, bluish and snowflakes here. Bottom of the box. Here's the uh, proof of purchasing upside down. It's by Mattel. All this stuff. Pink on this side. If you can see it's kind of turning from blue to pink. And then we have the back. Uh, complete story set. Uh, play out the magical story of the sisters, Anna and Elsa, Kristoff, the daring mountain man, his loyal reindeer, Sven, Sin, sorry, uh, Olaf, the snowman, and Prince Hans. A cool picture of them all set up here, kind of like a display. Uh, take a ride through the world of Frozen. Uh, so yeah, you can pretty much get this sleigh. <laughs> Uh, they do have some cool play sets, and I'm thinking about getting those, too. I'm going to have a lot of honors. Uh, but this does look really cool. Uh, so without further ado, let's get, take this out of the box and look at the toys. Okay, so here the figures are opened up. Um, so I'll go ahead and show each one of them. I'll start with Olaf. Fat and favorite. Uh, so pretty much he has articulation of his head that rotates around 360 degrees, and I believe that is it. Um, if I would have made this figure, I would have uh, made it to look a little more like Olaf, because it looks kind of like him, but something just looks off. Maybe it's the uh, eyes. Uh, they should have kind of engraved them a bit differently to make them... Uh, stick out more because the white eye sockets look a bit odd. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> the, it, overall, it's a cool figure. Maybe it's the uh, middle part right there that's uh, too small. Uh, but overall, he's a cool figure. Awesome little Olaf figure. So next we have Sven. Uh, he's my least favorite from the pack. Uh, mostly because the uh, he is not in scale with the other figures, uh, they didn't do the best job on him. Though he looked, he's okay, but just not the best job. Um, he's a lot smaller, and he is hollow. Uh, the detailing and sculpting was pretty good, but uh, the painting eh, and filling. I wish that it was felt like more of a solid figure, if that makes sense. Uh, maybe they've come out with another uh, thin figure. Like with a sleigh or something. I don't know. I don't think one comes with a sleigh. Uh, maybe with something, though, uh, that's a bit bigger and more uh, relevant or uh, relative uh, size uh, relative to the other figures. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's those two. And Hello, YouTube. This is Boba7772. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Disney Frozen Complete Story Set action figure box set. So, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm a huge fan of the movie Frozen, and I went to Walmart and eventually found this pack, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So I ended up getting it, and I was really, really happy. 
Uh, though the figures don't look the absolute best, and I will be more or less harsh in my review, even though, you know, they're a little girl toy. Uh, but I did want these, and I am glad that I got it, uh, even if they aren't the best of figures. Uh, so I do believe these are in the Polly Pocket style of figures. Uh, they do do other prin Disney Princess uh, action figures like this. Uh, Fro Frozen is usually the one that's sold out most. I'm presuming that they'll take it out of the uh, Frozen uh, line and just do it as Disney princesses like they have with Tangled and uh, Cinderella and all of these other ones, new and old. Um, so maybe we can get some new stuff from there. Uh, they do have play sets too, which I might end up getting, but I did want this set. So let's take a look at the box. We have a good picture of Anna and Elsa here. They look awesome. And you can see the uh, side of the hair that Elsa's... Uh, kind of braid is going down and it's the opposite of the figure I'm not sure which one's exactly right I would presume this uh, art one is and then Anna's pigtail uh, type things uh, going across the uh, her shoulders in the front and the figure they actually go in the back uh, which is really odd uh, so Disney uh, Frozen complete set we have Sven the reindeer and then we have the other Sven which is a weird donkey looking creature. Joking, this is Kristoff. Uh, should make it Olaf joke. Uh, and then we have Anna, which uh, really cool. I'm glad that she came in this outfit. Uh, Elsa, my favorite character, just like most people. Uh, glad she came in that outfit. Hans, i not exactly liking what he does with his arms and stuff, but still pretty cool. And then Olaf. Uh, there's something just funny about him. I am not exactly sure what it is. Um, but the faces, I'm not exactly liking them as, uh, on Anna and Elsa. They just, you can see here, they look awesome. Then here, they look not as awesome. And I have the uh, Disney Infinity figures too, which I'll show. Okay, so here's the side of the box. Frozen, just some snowflakes and stuff, blue. Uh, here's the back. It shows all the characters lined up. The Prince Hans figure, uh, the arms are stuck in like really weird positions, uh, I guess, to make him look more like a prince in royalty. Uh, though he was in the movie, he was just a scumbag who used Anna and Elsa. Uh, they've got some information 2013 Mattel, blah blah blah. Um, so his arms are like that. He's pretty much in his outfit. Uh, where the legs come off, it looks a bit odd. Uh, mainly because it doesn't have something to go around the waist to catch it like it does with all the other figures. Uh, Kristoff, Anna, and Elsa. And then this arm is bent a bit odd. And uh, I do think that the face looks the best out of any of the human characters' faces. Uh, or most accurate because the other three aren't all too great. Uh, but yeah. Um, now we have Kristoff. Uh, the leading male hero, though, so, uh, pretty much brought, uh, Anna back. Uh, his face looks odd to me for some reason. Uh, I wish that they would have done a better job on the face. Uh, but the fig the body looks cool, uh, once again, uh, just like with all the other human characters, he has five points of articulation, or maybe six, yeah. He has, uh, the neck rotates, the waist rotates, the shoulders go all the way around, and then the uh, legs can go more or less in a sitting position. Uh, they do move, but just not too great. Uh, there are sockets in there. And he's just for winter. Um, so yeah. Then we have Anna. And unfortunately this Anna has a hood up, which makes me need to buy a single carded Anna. Or just one of the playsets of Anna's. Uh, but it looks really, really strange to me. Uh, maybe it's the eyes... Uh, but the face just, the face doesn't look right. Let's see, maybe if I cover the eyes. See, now, I don't know, maybe the face is too fat or something, uh, to be honest, but I don't know. Uh, the entire face, I wish that they would have redone the entire face sculpt. Uh, and I don't like how that isn't removable, like this is removable. Here, I'll take this off to show you. See, it's a cool body, and it would have been a lot cooler if you could have taken the uh, head thing off. But you cannot do that, so you're going to have to keep that on. Um, so yeah, uh, 
same things of articulation as all the other ones. Uh, really cool dress. And then, last but not least, we have Princess Elsa, and or uh, Queen Elsa. Uh, yeah, uh, I need to rewatch the movie for another time. Uh, she is really, really, really cool. Uh, once again, the face. There's something wrong with it. I think they just uh, exaggerated the eyes, and uh, I don't think the lips. Maybe I don't know. Do, did she wear lipstick? Yeah, she did. Uh, the mouth on this figure looks a bit bigger, but uh, not enough to complain about. I think it's probably the eyes and the face itself being a bit fatter. Um, hair goes around the shoulder, uh, a different one than on the uh, case for the movie, but it really, or not the case for the movie, on the case for the uh, figure set, but it really doesn't matter. And then she has her hands in an all elegant princess like way. Uh, the skirt uh, is all. You know, uh, cloth. Uh, this cape thing is cloth, uh, but the uh, blue shirt up here is actual plastic molded onto the figure. And yeah, uh, she also has her tiara, which is strange because she threw it off, uh, I believe, before she did this hair thing. But whatever. Um, I will try to keep an eye out for another uh, Anna and Elsa figures. Uh, overall, this set is really good. I kind of wish that uh, they would have done some better face sculpts with the human figures and also uh, kind of improved all of the figures all around but this is a good set overall um, I wish that the Anna and Elsa figures had different heads where they uh, Anna and Elsa were not wearing the hood and crown respectively uh, but still. And then with the Olaf figure, the middle part of him should have been a bit uh, larger. Uh, and then just nitpicking for Hans. I'm not... That's not really a downside, I guess. And then uh, Sven. Uh, I, I wish that he would have been at least bigger. If, if they uh, couldn't do... Uh, if they couldn't do heavier, like fill, fill him in more, uh, less hollow, then I wish that they would have at least made him bigger. Uh, but, you know, it, it's fine. Uh, overall, it's a good set. I will probably give it like, eh, let's, eh, I'll probably give it a uh, three out of five. Um, it's, that's pushing it. Uh, really only because this is the same style as the uh, figures you would usually uh, get this kind of figure, like with other Disney princess stuff. They don't look exactly uh, like the characters. And uh, here's an example. Uh, I've got my Disney Infinity figures of Anna and Elsa. So here's Elsa. And this looks really good. Uh, she looks really cool here. And then here's Anna. And once again, uh, really, it looks really accurate. And just those, eh, they're, they're cool, but uh, they could have been a lot cooler. Uh, but then again, these are for little girls and uh, mo most likely and not uh, people like me uh, who review like legit toys. Anyway, uh, yeah, overall good set. If you're a fan of the movie, I would go ahead and get this set uh, because this is the only place you're going to find certain characters. I believe uh, Hans and Sin are exclusive to this pack and probably Kristoff. Uh, Olaf, Elsa, and Anna are all in a pack, and kind of hoping I find that pack, uh, though I'm not exactly sure uh, if I would get it. Uh, there's a single-carded Anna that I might get, and then there's uh, Anna with a sled, and uh, Anna with like a cr uh, castle part, a part of a castle set, uh, so I might go ahead and get one or both of those. Um, and yeah, those are about all of this, uh, the toys in this scale. Uh, so thank you for watching, and until next time, keep collecting. Bye.